Till now we have seen six properties of convolution operation and in this lecture which is part 3 of properties of convolution we will discuss the seventh and eighth properties. In the seventh property we will talk about time delay. So this is the property of time delay. To understand this property let's take two signals x1t and x2t and after convoluting x1t and x2t we have the resultant signal let's say yt. Now we will provide the time delay of t1 to signal x1t and the time delay of t2 to signal x2t. So let's provide the time delay of t1 to signal x1t and the time delay of t2 to signal x2t and after providing the delays we have delayed signal x1 t minus t1 and here we will have x2 t minus t2 and after convoluting x1 t minus t1 and x2 t minus t2 we want to find out the output the output according to the time delay property will be equal to t minus t1 plus t2 so according to the time delay property of the convolution if you are convoluting two or more signals and you are providing some delay to the signals then the resultant signal will have the delay equal to the sum of delays you are providing to your signals so this is all for time delay property and now we will quickly solve two examples in example number one you have convolution of u t minus 1 and u t minus 2 and we are required to find out the resultant signal so let's quickly solve this question we will first find out the resultant signal when there is no delay this means u t convolution with u t and if you remember the property number 6 we already know whenever anything is convoluted with the unit step signal we simply have to integrate the first signal so here the first signal is ut so we will integrate it from minus infinity to t u tau d tau and we already know the integration of unit step signal is equal to unit ramp signal but this is the output in case of no delay but here we are providing the delay of one unit to the first unit step signal and the delay of two unit to the second unit step signal so t1 is equal to 1 here and t2 is equal to 2 here so our output in case of delayed signals ut minus 1 convolution with ut minus 2 will be equal to r t minus 1 plus 2 that is 3 so this is our answer now we will solve the problem number 2 in the problem number 2 we are convoluting r t plus 2 with u t minus 3 and again we are required to follow all the previous steps so i will give you this problem as the homework problem once you have the answer post it in comment section and if you face any difficulty revise property number 6 and property number 7 property number 6 and 7 will be used to solve this question property number 6 I have explained in the last lecture and property number 7 we have discussed just now now we will move to the property number 8 the property number 8 is known as the property of time scaling it is known as the property of time scaling to understand this property let's take two signals x1 t and x2t and after convoluting them let's say the resultant signal is yt and now we will perform the time scaling of signal x1t time scaling of signal x1t by a we will perform the time scaling of signal x2t by the same amount time scaling by a 
and after performing the time scaling we will have x1 80 and from here we will have x2 80 we will convolute them and according to the time scaling property the resultant signal will be 1 over mod a y a t and here you need to remember one thing a cannot be equal to 0 so this is the time scaling property of the convolution operation and now we will solve one example to understand this in much better way in this example we are convoluting t square plus t with t and it is giving us y t now according to the question the result of convolution is 1 by 3 y 3 t and you are required to find out the two signals which are convoluted to give us this result you have to use this given information and to find out the two convoluted signals we will use the time scaling property if you compare 1 by 3 y 3 t with this result you will find the amount by which we are performing the time scaling is equal to 3 this means a is equal to 3 and from this property you can see the first signal is scaled by the same amount as the second signal and the amount is equal to a so we will have x1 3t convoluted with x2 3t and here x1 t is equal to t square plus t x1 t is equal to t square plus t this implies x1 3t is equal to 3t whole square plus 3t simplifying this we will have 9 t square plus 3t so this is the first signal first time scaled signal and now we will calculate the second time scaled signal that is x2 3t we know x2 t is equal to t x 2t is equal to 3 this implies x2 3t will be equal to 3t so we have the two signals and after convoluting them 9t square plus 3t convoluted with 3t will give you 1 by 3 y 3t so this is the answer of the example and i hope it is clear to you if you have any doubt regarding the property number 7 and property number 8, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.